session for netbooknews.com. As you know, you know, Windows 7 tablets have a huge disadvantage. It's all about the GUI and the front end. Even though that Windows 7 is, of course, supporting touchscreen, even multi-touchscreen, it's just not very touch-friendly. Therefore, a couple of companies are coming out with different GUIs. ExoPC is one of them. Um, that's actually the tablet that we're using from ExoPC. And Mirabright, um, with their front face, is another company that it comes up um, with a GUI in front end for Windows tablets and netvertibles or convertibles. So what I would like to show you is a little bit about the differences of the two concepts, about the performance of the two concepts. So this is an Intel Atom N455, comes with two gigabytes of RAM, a pretty fast 32 gigabyte SSD, and a Broadcom Crystal HD uh, acceleration card. So first of all, how about the boot up performance of the different GUIs? So this is the mirror by front face. It's loading. It's loading. There we go. There it is. So um, how about switching over to some apps? I'm just I'm just going through the menus right now so you get a little a little feeling of the performance and also when I'm scrolling up and down over here and uh, let's let, let's try this my young game so you, you, you're getting it right um, or how about our uh, let's go back here Let's go to add a widget, and I'm using the Bing Translator. That was actually pretty zippy right now. Anyways, let's go back to the settings. Okay, and let's switch between some screens. Okay, and now let's take a look at the ExoPC front end. So let's close this down. There we go, and over here we have the ExoPC. There it is already, and let's um, let's try this map thingy. I think this is also, and this is actually a, a real application, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So this is a real yeah. map application here that I can use. I was uh, able to find my street where, like, where I grew up on it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see it also supporting multi-touch. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to the front end. And let's take a look at the books. And over here we have a little children's book. The painting elves. Okay, maybe not the living elves. Uh, maybe let's get, let's get this one. So that's not too bad, right, in terms of performance, even though, again, yeah. over here you can see the taskbar. Also, this is better. Guys, all of you guys, ExoPC, Mirabyte front face, you have to work on your front end. Seriously, I tell you that. I mean, I love the ideas, I love the concepts of them, especially the one on the, of the ExoPC, because I think it's very advanced it's, uh, compared to the one from Mirabyte right now. Um, but you really have to work on this. How, how about this, uh, this this gallery application here? I like it. Pinch. Yeah. Not too bad, huh? So that's very zippy. Mm -hmm. I like that. I think you're getting what I want to what, what I want to tell you. If I'm comparing this to the front face from Mirabai. They're not even close to this. That's just, um, it's basically something that is 
taking advantage of websites and services uh, that are on the web and bringing them into a different environment and having a little bit of front uh, front end but while while the XOPC guys oh wow <laughs> <laughs> that's fancy while the XOPC guys really are coming up uh, with a whole ecosystem for a tablet and a very advanced one this is this is the most advanced one for windows that's for sure look there's there's a it's got a it's got a what is skyrock let's listen to some radio is that working mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, France. So that I think you're getting it, right? And look how, how fast I can switch between the different applications. The only problem was here with this book; it's always need to needs to reload, right? Yeah. But besides that, it is zippy, mm -hmm. and we're using the same software, so they definitely put a little bit more development into their front uh, uh, front end. Um, then the guys from uh, from Frontface, which is actually also leaving this little application running. I think it's it, it, it's using .NET. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, XOPC definitely has room for improvement, yeah. and Frontface has a little bit more room for improvement. So, guys, make it happen. There are people out there that are really loving to use a Windows Seven tablet. And um, they're looking for a decent GUI in front end. So, you know, keep digging and please, please work hard on this and get something decent out. This is Sasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.